I'm uh, Jeremy from Touche Amore. We're at the uh, Armageddon shop here in Boston. Run for coverage has given me $50, and uh, this is record selection. First thing I always end up doing is is going to like the new arrivals because I figure the normal sections probably pick through at least a little bit. So. It's sort of like the like, oh, maybe there's something here that someone else hasn't grabbed yet. This record is fucking awesome. If uh, if I didn't already have this, I hate when you find records that you already have and you're just like, man, I would totally buy this again. Yeah, it comes with a bonus seven inch. <clears throat> it's just like thrashy punk, sort of crusty, almost like older, like emo, screamo, violent stuff. Um, Inhumanity. We might have found the first one. <laughs> uh, this band called Julia. Um, they, it's on Ebullition, which is uh, home of tons of great emo punk stuff from like the 90s. But uh, I haven't had the, I don't have this LP, I just have a, a 7 inch or two, so. 7.99, can't, can't go wrong with that. Undeniable, undeniable. One of the best LA hardcore records ever. I think it was an original press of this. That being in all black, I think this might actually be the first press of this, because I think the silver one is is second. It could be wrong, but I'm a nerd and I have, I think, all three presses of that. It's a terrible addiction. Deathwish will never let us do a 10 inch. Uh, Trey is 100% Trey is against it. We always joke about it. He's always like, nope, not going to happen. What is this? Born Against Flexi. That's pretty awesome. This is a maybe. This is a maybe. I'm gonna put it here just for now. That, I got that run for cover dough. No, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta spread it apart. Uh, it's been Kill Sadie. This is an awesome 10 inch. Uh, the rapper POS actually uh, samples a song off this, which is awesome. Um, not a very known band from that era, but just really cool. Yeah, it's on uh, Old Glory Records, which also put out a bunch of like old screamo stuff or whatever. This is a band on 31G called Asterix. Asterix. Uh, it's an awesome little die cut thing. Um, it's like super noisy, uh, like really abrasive. Uh, I would I'd give anyone a dollar if they could actually listen to this entire record in, in full. Uh, but it, they're awesome. I just keep dealing with that thing where I keep seeing things that I, that I get psyched on, but I have. Uh, this might be something I'll pick up. Um, it's a band called Batter Brains. And, uh, they used to be called Please Inform the Captain, This is a Hijack. And uh, they're from the Bay Area, California. Overall, just like a super good punk band. Potentially a pickup, I'm gonna throw it right here. I haven't seen that LP in person, so that's a thing. I've, I've always had like a really good like photographic memory, so like if I, you know, I, I just know album covers quickly, so it's just like if I see something, I just grab it. Or if something looks like something potentially that I would be into, I'll just pick it up super quick. Buy this. It's great. Rhonda EG. Bridge Nine Records, some kind of hate. Matt Pike, uh, Kenmore Agency, sang in this band. Haven't seen that record in a long time. The Swarm is uh, Chris from Cursed and uh, Burning Love, uh, Ruination, Left 4 Dead. This is, one of, this is uh, one of his other bands, and I have multiple copies of this. This is that point where I have to go to my list on my phone to see which to see if I if I actually have this one or not. I'm pretty confident I have the gray. It's Ten inches, here we go. For the swarm, aka knee deep in the dead, I have clear gray and black. It's clear green marble. I do not have this one. Go ahead and make that number four. Yo, Fear Factory. Soul of a new machine. Banger head. Alright. This is the last cave-in 7-inch that I don't have, uh, so that I am definitely going to buy. That's awesome. Split with Gambit. I'm psyched. I am psyched. It's been Lords, and they're split with Coliseum, but <laughs> Lords covers the beautiful people from Marilyn Manson, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, if you've never listened to the Jelly Roll Rockheads, they're a, uh, a Japanese awesome, awesome, awesome fast punk band. Like, if you're fans of, like, uh, bands like The Oath or Charles Bronson, any of that type of stuff. They're pretty much like 
the head best Japanese band of, of any of that type of stuff. Band's super good. This was actually out on a uh, Youth Attack. It's like a, one of the, yeah, it's number six. It's like one of the first Youth Attack. Uh, I believe I have this one already, but I would nonetheless. This is the uh, the second Joyce Manor record, but this is the uh, the UK press of this. Um, yeah, came out on Big Scary Monsters, and this is out of uh, 150. So that's definitely uh, that's definitely worth definitely worth 20 bucks. That's awesome. I'm doing that. What what do I actually need to walk out of here with? Game combining with what Run For Cover so generously <laughs> giving me with my own personal money because I have a terrible record addiction, I am going to pick all of this up. <laughs> that's that's uh, not being able to say no to things. But I owe you. Okay. $50 from Run For Cover. There's 30 bucks over. No. Cool. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Take care. Have a nice night. Just finished uh, shopping here at Armageddon. Um, I have another store in Providence. I recommend going to both of them. Uh, it's always nice to find like a good punk and hardcore store. It's really cool because it's not the easiest thing to keep open, especially with music not selling as much anymore. So uh, support stores like this because they're few and far between. Armageddon, run for cover. Woo!